Hello YouTube, Tinfoil Hat Lady here. Listen, so many exciting things are going on right now. Thank goodness the whole General Flynn thing got sorted out. This is going to pull the string on a whole ball of corrupt wax. And all the, um, all the truth is going to come spilling out. So because this is going to involve a lot of investigation, this is why it's been taking so long. Um, you know who started October 2017 and Jerem, uh, who's doing all the investigating also, uh, began 20 October, 2017. Now I also read a book by Mark Taylor called the Trump prophecy, uh, which really blew my mind. And on top of that, uh, someone gave me this, um, well, it's a piece of paper that has some, uh, prophecy on it I guess and it's from Charisma magazine I don't know if any of you know Charisma magazine uh, but it is a Christian publication uh, written by a man named Jeremiah Johnson and it's from July 28th 2015 and I just want to read you what the Holy Spirit brought through this gentleman in uh, 2015 and just see if you don't think it's not describing what's you know going on and about to be released onto the public even so, and uh, here we go. In his great wisdom throughout the course of human history, God has chosen not only to fulfill his plans and purposes through men and women who have yielded to the sound of his voice, but he has also chosen to accomplish his will through men and women who have ignored and rebelled against him. One such man was King Cyrus, mentioned in Isaiah 45. Isaiah prophesied of Cyrus and speaks as a mouthpiece of the Lord when he declared, quote, I have even called you by your name, Cyrus. Remember, Isaiah was prophesying 500 years before Cyrus was even born. Cyrus, I have named you, though you have not known me. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I strengthen you, though you have not known me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. God. All right. I am the Lord and there is no other. So he goes on to say, what a powerful and profound declaration to a man who did not know or serve the Lord. Could God not use the wicked and ungodly to bring about his plans and purposes thousands of years ago? Yes, and he, and, and can he not still do the same things again, especially in the midst of the crisis that we find America in today? Now remember, this is 2015. So he goes on to say, I was in a time of prayer several weeks ago when God began to speak to me concerning the destiny of Donald Trump in America. Interesting. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, quote, here we go. This is the Holy Spirit. Listen up. Trump shall become my trumpet to the American people, for he possesses qualities that are even hard to find in my people these days. Don't we know it? Trump does not fear man. Trump does not fear man, nor will he allow deception and lies to go unnoticed. Those of us with <laughs> ears to hear and eyes to see already know that. Okay, so he does not allow deception and lies to go unnoticed. I'm going to use him to expose darkness and perversion in America like never before. Darkness and perversion. <laughs> but you must understand that he is like a bull in a china closet. <laughs> Many will want to throw him away because he will disturb their sense of peace and tranquility. Aww. But you must listen through the bantering to discover the truth that I will speak through him. I will use the wealth that I have given him to expose and launch investigations, investigations searching for truth. Ooh. I will use his wealth. I will use the wealth that I have given him to expose and launch investigations searching for truth. Just as I raised up Cyrus to fulfill my purpose and plans, so have I raised up Trump to fulfill my purposes and plans prior to the 2016 election. 
You must listen to the trumpet very closely, for he will sound the alarm, and many will be blessed because of his compassion and mercy. Surprise! Many will be blessed because of his compassion and mercy. Though many see the outward pride and arrogance, I have given him the tender heart of a father. And again, those with eyes and ears understand this. I have given him the tender heart of a father that wants to lend a helping hand to the poor and the needy, to the foreigner and the stranger. Whew. So that was the message. Wow, 2015. And he finishes off by saying, as the body of Christ, we must keep our ears and eyes open. As we continue towards the 2016 elections in the United States, I believe that God is not only going to use the prayers of the saints to bring about his plans and purposes, but he is going to use those who do not know him. What a great comfort and source of encouragement we have in the wisdom of God in this hour. So, wow. There you go. That's from 2015. And as we all know, good things are happening. We got the General Flynn situation sorted out. And that's just going to lead to all kinds of revelations because if you don't know general flynn was not very popular um with the obama administration because he knew where all the bodies were buried he knew exactly what they were doing um how they were uh, creating isis and much much more so they didn't like him and they didn't like trump either so he was the first one to go down when they framed him when james comey sent those two fbi agents into the white house without asking without predication and they made up a bunch of crap. And we know it all led to the Mueller investigation and oh, so much stuff. Papadopoulos, Manafort, Roger Stone, all this stuff could just go away now because it's all predicated on BS. And also the other great thing that I want to let you guys, remind you guys, if you don't know, President Trump has taken the treasury and nationalized it. I'm sorry, the Federal Reserve and taken it into the Treasury. So he's nationalized the Federal Reserve because it used to be a private institution. This is going to affect central banks all over the world for the good for the people because they have been ripping people off. If you don't know what fractional reserve banking is, please look into it. So the bank can have, you know, a hundred bucks in and it can lend out thousands. So how do they get this money? Well, they don't have it. They just type it on a screen and then charge you interest. So it's all phony baloney. Anyways, hopefully we can get back in some real money and get rid of this fiat currency that we've been all laboring under. The other thing is income tax. We all know income tax is a pain. And it was supposed to be brought in as a temporary measure. Yeah, right. I think the wars have been paid for now. So another thing that might happen is maybe we won't have to pay income tax anymore. There's a lot of good things going on because the criminals are going down. So anyways, I'm going to finish this video with just saying, I love you all. I hope you're doing well. Um, don't panic during the pandemic. Everything's going to work out just fine. Remember, 98% recovery rate and there's tons of therapeutics. So please don't be afraid. But re be responsible. Be responsible. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I love you. Take care. And... Um, just keep watching because the bad guys are going down. Finally. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.